You're welcome again to Marcus the Motivation of Podcast in this festive season. I hope you all have a great Christmas and the best in 2024. So I want to start the podcast off just by thanking all the listeners and the people watching on YouTube over the last couple of years. It's been great. The authors I've had on this year and I've got plenty lined up for 2024 as well, so stay tuned. And yeah, so it's been absolutely amazing. I really appreciate all the authors. It's been great to get people on to share their work and you know, talk, listen to them about or talk to them about their strategies of writing. So that's been great. And I hope it's helping people that are listening that that are writers too. There's some great um, information that, that they give. And next year, I'm going to have a course out as well. It's um, basic guitar and card magic as well combined. So it's uh, talent stacking where you're gonna, I'm gonna put a course out there. So stay tuned for that. And I might just show you one of the modules, share it on the podcast as well for give you a taste of what's to come. And also I wanna mention maybe a book or two that I've been reading this year that I'd, I'd recommend. The first one is by Scott Adams. Reframe your brain. It's um, all about different reframes. He starts the book off by he has um, a dog called Snickers that he brings for a walk every morning. And all the dog wants to do is sniff the trees. And, <laughs> and um, he's kind of, kind of getting a bit fed up with this. Uh, like, as he wants to go for a walk, a bit of exercise in the morning. So, what he, what he does is go, goes and points on. YouTube or whatever, like these dogs, dog trainers or dog psychologists, whatever you call them, were saying that um, that dogs love to do that. They love sniffing, and you know that that's their favorite thing to do. So he he stopped and talked to himself. Himself, why am I depriving the dog of what he likes to do? Likes to do? Like he was going to change the dog's name from sti- uh, Snickers to Sniffers. He liked to sniff so much, so I just thought that was really funny. And then he reframed it, and, and uh, the dog was happy. Like uh, he got to do what he wanted to do. And then what he did, he thought to himself, "What am I going to do?" Well, the dog was doing that, but then he thought to himself, "Well, I can take that time to breathe, breathe deeply, and you know, relax and work on my posture." So it was a reframe that two of them got to got the satisfaction from, you know. So I just thought that was really good. And then the best thing about this book as well, at the end of the book, it gives all the reframes, basically in each chapter, it talks about the reframe and the the usual reframe and then the one that's better, a better option, and gives examples. So it's it's a really good book. And then at the end of the book as well, it gives you all the reframes again that was discussed in the book. I'll give you one or two examples there. Like it's it's great. I've got my it's a lot of my books on Kindle. So it's so easy when you're on the bus or whatever you're out and about, it's great to and it's cheap as chips as well, like to, to get these books. So the usual reframe, introduction to reframes. Taking the dog for a walk and failing. Taking the dog reframe is taking the dog for a sniff and succeeding. Usual reframe. I have nothing to do. I'm just standing here. Reframe. Perfect time to practice proper breathing and posture, like I was saying. And then another usual reframe is, I'm waiting in line, which is a waste of time. Reframe. I have time to breathe properly. And people that want to maybe cut down on alcohol or stop drinking altogether. The usual frame is alcohol is be- alcohol is a beverage. Reframe. Wait for it. Alcohol is poison. So um that's that's one or two of them. And usual reframe, these are success reframes. Usual reframe, my odds of succeeding are low. Reframe. Maybe I am bad at estimating the odds. Usual reframe. I fail at 90% of the things I try. Reframe. I only need to succeed 
10% of the time. So you get the chase. So like, these are just reframes that you can even make up on the fly. And you'll know if they're resonating and they're working when you, when you have the kinesthetic, the feeling. Um, like there's so many of them and uh, like they're just short sentences and they don't, you don't even have to, to make sense a lot of the time they're just um reframes to improve your life i just think it's, it's a really good book definitely recommend get it scott adams brilliant and another one i was reading there recently as well is a t um instant influence I, I did mention on the podcast before it's about giving people autonomy you know, rather than telling people what to do, it's asking them, why would you want to do it? It's one of the first questions. Like, there's a list of them. Basically, it says you can change people and help people within seven minutes of using using this um, strategy. And, like, doctors and hospitals are using it in, in America. And, like, it's just gone really... It's just it's a great way of working with people. Um, well, we're uh, getting, getting your hands on that book as well. Um, I'll get the name of the author now for you. Just one moment there. Pantalon is the name. M Mike Michael Pantalon. Um, it's an awesome book as well. Really, really good. Yeah, so they're just the two books that I'd recommend check out. Like, there's been a lot more, but um, they're just the two that I, that come to mind at the moment. And I might do a do a podcast next year on maybe do a, a re maybe do it um do a total episode a review of the of the books as well. I think it'd be a good idea. So I'm gonna do that uh, next year sometime. So stay tuned for that. And just to get back on to the course I'm doing as well, it's um basically it's gonna be just showing you how to do different chords and maybe five or six chords and the amount of different songs you can do from knowing these chords. And then I'm a songwriter myself. And what I might do is like when people take in the course, when they send me their songs, I can pick out a few and put them on the podcast every month and to give them a bit of recognition for doing the course. So that's something to think of doing as well. And as regard to car tricks, you know, it's it's great, great fun to to do with your friends and family. So um that's that's what I'm doing that for as well. So yeah, so that, that's really it. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna share one of one of the tricks now, um one of the of the course. It's gonna be rough, but it'll give you a rough idea of what way it's gonna be. So I hope you enjoy that. Um so come back in a moment and you'll you'll see the next part. And then I should have, should have shut it off. I'll have to edit this bit out. Okay. Well, welcome back again to um, Guitar and Magic Tricks combined. So that's a force, I'm sure. So in this course, I'll be showing you some guitar chords and some songs to get you going and some card tricks. So like the guitar, since the first lesson, these are a deck of cards. Unless you've been living in Mars or one of them planets, <laughs> you, you wouldn't have known that. So just in case anybody's tuning in from out of space, this is the <laughs> this is the um cards. These are cards, okay? And there's 52 cards in the deck. <laughs> a bit of useless information. So this is the first trick I'm gonna show you, okay? So basically the first trick. Is really cool okay so it's kind of like a, a magic mentalist card trick okay i'll just kind of bring the bring the the card down to show you this so you get the person to shuffle first so you shuffle a deck like this like so get them shuffle the deck nice and shuffled that's right Yeah, and they give it back to you. Thank you very much. So you just just uh, get them straightened up. Okay, so 
so yeah so this is what you do you put the card down cards down like like so so i just hope, hope you can see them cards here's the cards hang on a second now sure hang on cards are down like that yeah just then put your hand over the deck and you can close your eyes and I'm going to think of a card in the deck, okay? So, come and visualize this card in the deck. Just give me one moment now. I'm going to visualize the card. Thank you very much. So now, I pick up the card in the deck of cards. And I need to see which card I've seen in my imagination. Okay, let me have a look and see if I can find it. Hmm. So you can use this with a borrowed deck, um, any any deck of deck of cards at all. You can you can use this for okay. So now I've found it. I found the the card. I don't know if you've seen that card, but that's the joy of computers. But it's showing you how to do it anyway. So then what you do is you say thank you very much. So we got the card back there. So we're going to ask the spectator to cut the deck. So I'm going to show them first how to cut the deck. So what you want them to do is cut the deck into two. And so, so go ahead, cut the deck. So they cut the deck. And you're going to put that deck of cards on top like that. And then you just recap, say, you shuffle the cards, gave me back the cards. I imagine that I predict the card that um, I think it could be. And this is the card you cut to. So let me see what card it is you cut it. Just one second there. So you cut to the three of hearts, okay? Red, red tree, okay? Now, there's only one tree of hearts in the pack, but every card has a soulmate. So, wouldn't you be surprised if the card that we picked out, that I, I saw in my mind, was the tree of diamonds? That'd be impressive, wouldn't it? So, let me see how we get on. Hmm. Diamonds. That's right. Cool. So that was the car trick. Let's explain how to do it. That's right. Okay. So you do again, you give the cards out to the spectators there and they shuffle them. Shuffle them again. Make sure they're nice and shuffled. Okay, they've shuffled them enough times. So, you they give you back the card. Thank you very much. So then, you can put your hand over like this again and think about the card. You can even close your eyes and see which card it is. Then you say, okay, I've got it. So, the trick is, it's really simple, but it's a nice trick. So, you're just looking for that card, but you're not looking for the card. That's the trick. <laughs> What you're looking for the card is, what the card is at the top deck, which is the Ace of Hearts, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, you're looking for the other Red Ace. That's right. So, you found the other Red Ace. So, it doesn't matter if you see it this time. Just put that Red Ace there. So, we know at the top of that deck is the other ace, Red Ace, okay? So you're getting it, yeah? So you're asking them to cut the deck. So go ahead and cut the deck. And by them cutting that deck, all you're doing is you're getting to cut the deck and then you put the one on top of it. So what you got, you're going to have the ace of hearts on the top, aren't you? So then the crick is done, so you can milk it all, all you want. You can say, you, you shuffle the deck. You um, gave the cards back to me. I imagined the card and picked it out. So then you milk it and milk it, just make it a bit of fun. And then you say, let's see what card you cut to. And that's right, you cut to the Ace of Hearts. And you say that, okay, there's only one Ace of Hearts in the deck. So, but there's a soulmate of that card. So you take that card up and elaborate. You have the thing. And they'd be impressed. <laughs> okay, so listen, I hope you enjoyed that trick. Um, nice and simple for a trick for you.
So you'll be able to go out and perform it now and um, keep your friends and people around you have a bit of crack with it. But never reveal the trick. You have to keep keep the suspense done because you can deal with somebody else now. But don't do the same trick twice because they'll know what the story is. Okay, thanks a lot for joining me again for this um this course on guitar and magic tricks. See you soon and thanks for listening. Thank you. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that. That um yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that short trick. Just a taster of what's to come in the course next year. So I hope to have that out maybe January or February next year. Maybe mid February, I'd hope to have it launched launched. So stay tuned for that. So once again, thanks a million for tuning into the podcast over the last number of years I've been doing it. And to all the authors and the guests I've had on on the podcast. I've had a lot of great guests on. So thanks a million for that. So tune in next year for some more great authors I'm gonna have on the podcast. And once again, have a lovely holiday season and all the best for twenty twenty four. Gonna be in Margaret, August Lago Fall. Good night and take care. Mom. Hello everyone, Mark here. Thank you for watching another episode of my Authors Tuesday podcast. I recently published a book of children's stories called The Adventures of Larry Lampos and Friends. The book began life as bedtime stories I wrote for my own children. If you'd like to purchase my book, follow the link in the description box below. By buying my book, you are also supporting my podcast series for authors, which is giving a voice to writers in Ireland and across the world.